You say it's based on an Oscar Wilde short story. So does that mean then you've obviously had to embellish bits for the film? The, the Oscar Wilde short story basically doesn't have a third act. So we've right. kind of made one up. Uh, <laughs> essentially, it's about a ghost who has been in a, a sort of a in Canterville chase uh, and has been a resident sort of uh, spirit there for years, scaring off people who come and live there. And then at the turn of the century, some Americans come over, take over the house, and they're not scared of him. And he then has a sort of a crisis about what, what his point is. Um, and we find out what, uh, why he's trapped there, what his backstory is. And he enlists, well, eventually enlists the help of the daughter of the family, Virginia Otis, which is voiced by Emily Carey, uh, to sort of help him. But we, we yeah, we've created a, a whole new third act and uh, a character for Hugh Laurie, basically, who, who yeah. played a big part in in the final sort of section but yeah it's uh yeah so we did have to change quite but there are a few lines from oscar wilde still in it so the wild purists will probably you know be very cross but um and also to make it family friendly yeah you know, to make sure yeah. that it still works i mean there's been live action versions of it done uh but yeah a fair a fair number of them but it's quite it's quite a tricky balance and deciding what to do at the end because the short story does sort of sort of dribble to an end. It's going basically there's a whole bit that happens off screen that we never really find out about. And it's mm. sort of brushed away with, I'll tell you about all that when you're older. I think, you know, <laughs> Oscar Wilde was probably going, Oh, I don't know. <laughs> and there's a big sequence which yeah, involves fighting death in various guises. Um, yeah. which is a bit more cinematic maybe than just, I'll tell you about it later. 